Hi guys, welcome to another one of Dollar Revision Series Lectures. We are at number 10 and today I will be revising the pinhole camera and of course I'll be showing you an example of a typical question. So the pinhole camera is an application that basically states that light travels in a straight line. So it uses that principle of light and it considers two rays of light, one from the top and one from the bottom and it basically these rays become interchanged as they pass through the pinhole. Typically, you would have a real inverted image being formed, and the magnification of that is a ratio of V to U, right? And magnification is a dimensionless quantity, which means that you do not have any unit, okay? So let's look at the question. A 2cm tall object, so again, I use my symbol OH to represent object height, it is placed a distance x from a pinhole. Uh, a screen is placed 20 cm. So the screen is typically where your image is formed. So you would always have uh, the distance of the pinhole to the screen being v. And the image is 5 times the object size. And we want to determine x. So normally when you are told the image is 5 times the size of the object, we are considering this 5 to represent the magnification. So based on that, if I have the magnification, I can work out what the image height is, which is 5 times the object's height, which is 10. So if I do my diagram, right, it would look similar to this, where I normally represent the uh, pinhole along a horizontal axis. And then you can have rays of light. The first ray, which would extend from the bottom, will pass straight through. Because remember, light travels in a straight line. So this ray will pass straight through the pinhole, unbent. And then I would represent, because I know my screen's position based on the data, I would see that this is 20. And I am told that my image height is 5 times my object height, which would have been 10. So you could basically position where your image is lying in your ray diagram, all right? So then now you're going to consider two rays and you're going to extrapolate them backwards because it's kind of opposite to what you would normally be asked to find, which is the image position. But let's say you want to get the object's position. So what you do is that you extend your ray back, one from the top and then one from the bottom, and you're going to look and see where the distance between the rays gives you a height of 1 cm. Now, based on my y-axis scale, it would be one block on your diagram. So you're looking where the distance between the rays is one block, which is 2 centimeters, and then you measure now the distance. Well, you can construct your object, which is one block height, 2 cm, and then you're measuring the distance between that object and the pinhole, and that's x. So that works out to give you u being around 4. And if you think about it, it you could work backwards, right, through logic. If v represents 20 cm, and v is 5 times your object distance, true logic, then you would see that u has to be 4 cm. And through that, you could also use your formula for magnification to calculate it as well.